Hey guys, my name is Sean from Modern Design Minimal and today we're going to be building a cool pair of speaker stands. They cost me about $20 to $30 for the whole set. It's uh, two of them. Pretty tedious process just because you got to cut up some smaller pieces and sand them down. Sanding's the hard part. Um, after that, it's just like stacking some Jenga blocks. You know the game Jenga where you pull the little pieces of wood out and you know, you know how, to, you know how the rest goes. Anyway, let's check it out. Here we go. All right, so I set up a, a, a saw stop right here, and I'm cutting all those pieces to five eighths of an inch. You're gonna need like 78 of these, uh, I think it's, I'm sorry, 76 of these. 76 pieces, it's about 38 per speaker tower. You're gonna take these guys, sand them all down, sand all four sides down. Some of the edges, the you know, on the very ends of the pieces, you gotta sand those down too. You know, just make them look good. Here I'm just taking a uh, little quick little speed square, buddy, whatever you want to call that little tool. We're gonna glue them up. And we just start stacking them. Like I said, like the game Jenga. Just keep stacking, gluing, stacking and gluing. Bread nails. I think I used the uh, one, no, two inch bread nails as I got higher, just to make sure everything was, would, you know, hold in place really good. This is a fun little build. I was kind of proud of it. I didn't even uh, write anything down or design anything on paper with this one. I just kind of was like, hey, you know what? I need some speaker stands. So why not go after it? And uh, I came up with this little design in my head and just threw it on, you know, hit record and here we go. I gotta apologize for the camera shake. I think my uh, hose for the, the air compressor was in the way there. But yeah, you just keep stacking and stacking. And I mentioned earlier that it was a tedious process as far as uh, sanding goes. Like that, that was the hardest part. Just sanding everything down. So you can see, you just take a random orbital sander or whatever sander of your choice and 100 grit sandpaper. Actually, I'm sorry, I use 80 grit sandpaper here. video of the bases but if you guys want to see me see how I made those leave some comments below and I'll make a video of how I made those bases it's really simple no straightforward process anyways here I used a uh, my spray gun with a true black finish from Minwax I got a link in the description below to that too and uh, that spray gun is pretty really well made spray gun for a good price from Harbor Freight Tools and if you don't have a spray gun, you can just put it in an all-purpose spray bottle like this and just spray it on. I actually almost prefer that, that method. Well, here, I'm putting on the tops of the speaker stands. It's just a piece of wood. And some blonde wood is what I use there. I made like some 7x7 seven seven inch squares and put on top of those. And here's the base install. I just flipped it upside down, the whole speaker stand. Glued and brad nailed the bases in. enjoyed this There's a little nice lifestyle shot of the speaker stands in my living room I think they look pretty good DIY Asian inspired modern speaker stands hit that like and subscribe button and I hope you guys enjoyed join me next time I don't know what I'll be building but I'll be building something again this is Sean from Modern Design Minimal thanks for stopping by love you peace